Hey there guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the game that just happened yesterday for me, which was Rangers against Livingston. That was a, that was a really good game. Uh, the 2021 champions, unbeaten champions, uh, played 6th place Livingston, well 6th well, place, they finished 6th last year basically. And uh, it was a good performance for Rangers, it wasn't the best performance, but they got the win and it was a convincing 3-0 win. Uh, we go into the first half. Um, just get into the first half. So, Rangers instantly started off really, really well. Started off really strong. Uh, they got off to a great start. Getting a goal quite early. I think it was within the first seven, eight minutes. Hadji got the goal. It came from the right hand side. Tavernier with a good free kick in. And Hadji took the ball down well. Was able to remain calm though as well and show composure. And actually made a made a good finish, put into the top left corner. So that was a great start by Rangers. And speaking of Tavernier, Tavernier was a constant threat throughout that first half, bombing up and down that right hand side, causing Livingston all sorts of trouble. Uh, Rangers just in general were dominating that first half. Uh, on the left hand side, you had the Bassi, you had the Rebo sort of combinations going on. But I will say that if Bassi's final ball, the left back for Rangers, was better, they would have had a better chance of actually getting more goals. And it might have actually been done in the first half if Bassi's if sorry if Bassi's final ball was better. Uh, um, so you also go into let's see what we're thinking. Um, uh, it was a great first ten minutes for Rangers. Uh, they had. They scored the goal within the first seven or eight, and then they kind of barraged the goal uh, for uh, Livingston instantly, like right away. Arebo had a chance, had a couple more chances, and within the first 10 to 15 minutes, Rangers actually had uh, four shots, three on target in the first 10 to 15 minutes, which is pretty good. And they started the game off really strong. They didn't. Uh, after that really create much else but they still dominated the play and looked quite threatening going forward there were a few signs from Haji, from Kent from Sakala there was glimpses of Sakala but he didn't really get a chance uh, in the game just in general really it was a shame that Haji had to come off because he was playing really well and he only played for half an hour I think something like that, 25 minutes but he had to come off because of injury so that's a shame but yeah, overall in that first half, it was all Rangers. And Livingston really did struggle to get into the game or create anything because they went so long and direct up to the striker who was Anderson, I believe. So they went so direct up to the striker that once they got it up to the striker, there was just no one around them to like build something off him. So they'd boot it up to him and then you'd say, say Goldson or Balogun or Stephen Davis just outnumber him and nick the ball off him because once he the ball was up there he tried to win it and if he did win it there would be no one up there because Rangers would just outnumber him and there was no one up there to like link play for Livingston so they were kind of stuck in their own half really for the whole first half. What I will say about Livingston is Livingston did well in that first 45 to keep it 1-0. They battled hard really well and they kept it 1-0. So they were still in the game because it was only 1-0. Uh, the second half, uh, straight away, Livingston, though, they wasted a good free kick opportunity straight away. I remember it. Uh, they won a free kick on like the left-hand side. They whipped it in and it just was overhit and it was really poor from Livingston. I was, I was expecting, like... Create, uh, not create, take your chances when you've got them. So you've got a set piece opportunity against the Rangers, at, against the Rangers at Ibrox. There's only one team that plays at Ibrox. You'd expect a response from Livingston. So they win a set piece. You're away at Rangers. Take what you can get. Make the most of the situation. But they wasted it. It was a really bad free kick. And that was actually one of the rare chances they had in that second half, or just the whole game in general. I think overall in the game they had two shots and they had zero on target. I think they had 
twenty-three percent of the ball, so they didn't. They were never really in the game. It was more Rangers allowing them into the game, because in that second half, Rangers dropped off for I'd say like the mid part of the game. So from forty-five to say about seventy-five, maybe maybe seventy-five, they dropped off the levels, the tempo. They were still dominating the ball, but they were like struggling to find the final ball, the final pass. I think I remember an opportunity where Scott Wright was driving through. Who had a gig, uh, who had a great game. Sorry, by the way, he was driving at the defence with the ball, carrying the ball well, bringing it up the pitch. It was a great performance from Scott Wright, and actually a great finish by him. We'll get into that goal later, but um, yeah, as I was saying, it was a. It was Rangers dropped off. They dropped off quite a bit, uh, and they allowed Livingston. I'd say from maybe sixty-five to seventy-five, Livingston were starting to get up the pitch. They had a, maybe one half chance with a Hamilton chance where he scuffed the shot, but that was really about it. But Rangers did allow them back into the game, which I'd say would be a bit of a concern if I was a Rangers fan because if that was a let's say a Malmo on Saturday I don't think Malmo would be as wasteful as Livingston uh, now we were speaking about Scott Wright earlier and what a great finish from Scott Wright in that, for that second goal and that second goal just calmed basically every Rangers fan in the world down wrapped up three points everyone would be like okay we got the win thank God it looks like it's in the bag. We're going to win and get the three points. Um, it was a great finish. It really was. It was a fantastic finish because the technique he had to use to finish that, he had to use the outside of his boot. He used the outside of his boot and it was a great, great finish. And after getting that second goal, the Rangers then picked it up again. They found another breed of confidence, put up another gear, and Livingston didn't really have a chance after that and they also went down to 10 men which I think played a part in Rangers like stepping up the levels but they still stepped up the levels significantly and you know that there's a lot more like higher levels to Rangers than they showed yesterday even though sorry they won 3-0 even though they won 3-0 there's still going to be better performances coming from Rangers uh, the third goal Kamar Roof shows that fox the box mentality he's got the quick reactions he had it was like a bouncing around the box it was like uh, ping pong in there it was bouncing around I think it went off a Livingston guy but his like quick reactions and thought made him chase down the ball in like the six yard area and a fox in the box finish just put it into the goal so it was a good good finish for a striker in Kamar Roof and Kamaru's got a chance now because Morelos has a bit of, bit of doubt about his future, whether he'll be playing a lot. And uh, the Sakala guy, the Sakala guy, Sakala, fashion Sakala, what a name by the way. Uh, he's, he didn't really play well yesterday, so Kamaru's got a chance after what he did last season. He had a, he had a decent season last season, but... He can maybe do it to the next level this year and see what he can do next year. Uh, this year, sorry. Yeah, overall for Rangers, it was a it was a solid performance. Great defensive performance. Another clean sheet for Rangers. Connor Goldson, I thought was amazing. The whole defence was amazing. Tavernier on the right hand side was amazing. Constant threat throughout the whole game. Even though Kent didn't play his best game, he was a threat in that game as well. Uh, and you know there's levels to Rangers here so in the next game, the Malmo game on Tuesday we might see a even better Rangers because they actually rested players for that game Alan McGregor didn't play um, Barisic didn't play, it was Bassey who played left back who actually played well Bassey uh, but yeah, there's going to be levels to Rangers they weren't 100% yesterday but it was a solid game good performance it was it was a champions performance but it wasn't like a a champions champions performance it was like you've come to the champions we didn't play our best but we still slapped you three nil that kind of performance Livingston's next game is going to be Aberdeen at home next Sunday 
or this upcoming Sunday now and Rangers next game when you see this video it will be the Malmo Champions League qualifier huge game for Rangers coming up thanks guys for watching this video if you're still watching it right now uh, put in the comments what you thought of Rangers and Livingston in this game and uh, yeah thanks for watching uh, like and subscribe guys and I'll see you tomorrow